Hi everyone, it's Jillian from Hooked and Snitten. For today's tutorial, we will be working on the striping shell hat. I will put a link to the free pattern in the description below. I did make some changes to the pattern, so definitely check that out and see which one works best for you. For this pattern, I use Red Heart Super Saver Yarn. It's 100% acrylic. I also use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need a pair of scissors and your tapestry needle. So let's get started. This hat is work from the bottom up. So we're gonna start by making the brim of the hat. You're gonna start by placing a slip knot on your hook. And you're gonna chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. For row one, we're going to flip our walk over and we're going to be walking into the back bumps. And that's going to make it a lot easier at the end when it comes time to join in the brim. So you're going to flip, you're going to skip one stitch and you're going to flip your walk over and you're going to make a single crochet into that first back bump. And you're going to make a single crochet into every stitch until you get to the end of the row. If you want to make your brim shorter, you can chain less stitches. It's completely up to you. And you can also use slip stitches or half double crochets to make the brim of the hat. At the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches. And that's the end of the first row for the brim of the hat. You're now going to chain one. And you're gonna turn your work. And for row two and all the other rows following, you'll be working into the back loops of the, of the row. So the back loop is a loop furthest away from you, over here, and the front loop is a loop facing you. You're gonna make a single crochet into the first stitch, and you're gonna make one single crochet into every stitch, back loop only. That's 11 and 12. For the next row, you're gonna chain one and turn, and you're gonna repeat row two, and you're gonna repeat row two until your piece measures 16 to 17 inches, and we'll meet back here to join the brim of the hat. So now that your piece reaches 16 to 17 inches, we're gonna join the two small ends or short ends together. You're gonna make a chain one, and you're gonna put those two ends together, and you're gonna be working into the back loop from each side. You're gonna place your hook into the back loop of the first side and the back loop of the next side. And you're gonna make a slip stitch. You're gonna pull through all loops on your hook. Gonna make a, into the back loop of one side and the back loop of the next side. Pulling through all loops on your hook for a slip stitch. The back loop and the back loop of the next side. And you're gonna continue this way until you get to the end of the row. 
and you should have an even number of stitches on both sides you should have 12 stitches on both sides This is number 12. I'm now going to remove my hook from the loop and I'm going to flip it on the right side out. And you can see that it's not easy to tell where the join is. I'm going to place my hook back into the loop. And we're now going to be making single crochets around the top of the brim. And we're going to make 60 single crochets evenly around the top so you're going to chain one and you're going to make a single crochet and you're going to just place your hook into any spot that just feels right to you it doesn't matter at the end of the round you should have 60 single crochets and in the spirit of following the pattern we're going to call this row of single crochets round four not to be confused when you look at the pattern. If at the end you have more or less single crochet, you're just going to regroup and back up a little bit and try to correct it so that you have 60 single crochets. Continue making your round of single crochets, round four, and I'll meet you at the end. So you've made 60 single crochets all the way around. And to join, you're going to make a slip stitch to the first single crochet. To continue with round five, you're going to switch to a new color. You're going to switch colors. You're going to chain one and make a single crochet into that same stitch. And I'm going to cut my main color. And that's different from what the pattern does. And you can follow along with the pattern or what I do. So it's a choice. To continue, you're going to skip two stitches, one, two. And into the next stitch, you're going to make a shell stitch. And a shell stitch for this pattern is going to be five double crochets and this will be the start of your repeat so you're going to make five double crochets into the third stitch one two three four and five you're going to skip two stitches, one, two, and into the next stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. You're going to start your repeat again. You're going to skip two, one, two, and a shell stitch into the next stitch. That's two, three, four, and five. Skip two stitches, one, two, and make a single crochet into the next stitch. Start your repeat, one, two, and a shell stitch into the next. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end of the round, when you have five stitch left, you're going to skip two, one, two, and make a shell stitch into the next stitch. Two, 
you're gonna skip two, one, two, and make a slip stitch to the first single crochet stitch. And that is the end of round five. You're gonna fasten off here and you're going to cut your yarn. For row six, I'm going to join using a standing double crochet stitch. And to make a standing double crochet, you're gonna put a slip knot on your hook. And we're gonna be walking into the row four where we made the single crochet right under the single crochet from row five. So I hold that end up against the fabric so that it doesn't move around. And I wrap my hook and I go into the stitch. And I pull up a loop. You have those three loops on your hook and you're gonna pull through two loops just like a double crochet stitch and you're gonna pull through the next two. And you can tug on that end bit. Into that same stitch you're gonna make a double crochet. You're gonna chain two and this will be the start of your repeat. You're gonna skip two stitches and into the middle of the shell stitch you're gonna make a single crochet. Chain two. You're gonna make two double crochet into row four right underneath the single crochet from row five. Chain two and this start you repeat again. Skip two, one, two, and make a single crochet into the middle of the shell stitch. Chain two and two double crochet into row four underneath the single crochet from row one. Chain two. Skip two, one, two, and a single crochet into the middle of the shell stitch. Chain two. Continue with the sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end, you're gonna make a chain two, and you're gonna make a slip stitch for the first stitch, which is the standing double crochet stitch that you made. And that is the end of round six. For round seven, you're gonna chain two. You're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch. And that chain two and the double crochet counts as a double crochet two together. You're going to make one double crochet in each of the chain stitches. Not into the chain space, but into the chain. And this will be the start of your repeat. Into the single crochet stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. And one double crochet into each of the chains. When you get to the double crochet stitches, you're gonna make two double crochets together. You're gonna wrap your hook and you're gonna go into the first double crochet, pull up a loop, pull two loops off your hook. You're gonna wrap your hook, go into the next double crochet stitch, pull up a loop, pull two loops off your hook, and with three loops left on your hook, you're gonna wrap your hook and pull through all three loops. And you're gonna start your repeat again. One double crochet in each of the chain stitches One double crochet into the single crochet stitch. One double crochet into each of the chain stitches. And now you reach the two double crochets and you're gonna do two double crochets together.
and you're going to keep on repeating this sequence of stitches until you get to the end of the round and at the end of the round you should have 60 stitches. At the end of the round, you're going to make a slip stitch to the first double crochet. And that is the end of round seven. To continue with round eight, and round eight is going to be a repeat of round five, you're going to switch colors, you're going to chain one, and make a single crochet into that first stitch. And you're going to cut the main color. You're going to skip two stitches and make a shell stitch into the next. And five. Skip two stitches and make a single crochet into the next. To continue with this pattern, you're going to be repeating rows 5, 6, and 7 three more times, and that will bring you up to round 16. And we'll meet back here to finish the crown of the hat. At the end of round 16, this is what your hat should look like. You should have four of the shell stitch in whatever color that you choose. You can continue going with rows 5, 6, and 7 if you want more of a slouchy hat. For the next three rounds, 17, 18, and 19, we will be decreasing to finish off the crown of the hat. To begin row 17, we're going to chain two, and you're going to make two double crochet stitches together over the next two stitches, pulling just two loops off the hook at a time, and when you have three, you're going to pull through all three. You're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. You're going to double crochet three stitches together and this will be the start of your repeat. You're going to wrap your hook and go into the stitch, pull two loops off your hook, wrap your hook, go into the second stitch, pull two loops off your hook, Wrap your hook, go into the third stitch, pull two loops off your hook. With four loops left on your hook, you're going to wrap your hook and pull through all four. And that is a double crochet, three stitches together. You're going to make one double crochet into the next three stitches. And you start your repeat again by making a double crochet, three stitches together. One double crochet into the next three stitches. Double crochet three stitches together. One double crochet into the next three stitches. Continue with this sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the round. At the end, you're gonna make a slip stitch to the beginning, two double crochets together. And that is the end of round 17. For round 18, you're gonna chain two. And over the next two stitches, you're going to make a double crochet, two, stitch, two stitches together. In the next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet, and this will be the start of your repeat. You're going to double crochet three stitches together.
and you're going to start your repeat again by making one double crochet into the next stitch double crochet three stitches together one double crochet into the next stitch continue with this sequence of stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the round At the end of the round, you're going to join where you made the two double crochet stitches together from the beginning of the round. And that is the end of round 18. As you can see that the top of the hat is getting much smaller. For round 19, you're going to chain two. And this is the final round for the hat. And this chain two doesn't count as a stitch. You're going to double crochet three stitches together six times that's one two three and six at the end I have two stitches left and I'm going to make one double crochet into each one of those stitches and I'm going to join to the first set of three double crochets together and you now I'm going to cut your yarn leave it a long tail so you can close the top of the hat. And that is the end of round 19. And I'm now gonna show you how I close the, the hole in the top of the hat. To close the top, you will need your tapestry needle And I go on the back loop all the way around and I make a, a whip stitch I guess it's called into each loop And then I pull it close. As you can see, it's very close. You know, I'm going to hide the tail end of the rest of the yarn inside the hat. You're going to sew in the rest of your ends. And you're going to add a pom-pom of your choice. And that's the end of the tutorial for the striping shell hat. I hope you enjoy it. As always, thank you for visiting my channel. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.